Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. So in the previous video, if you remember, we have already seen how to manage the out parameter like uh, creating a procedure, the stored procedure and having some out parameter. So in that in that procedure, we had one out parameter. Uh, I got some request regarding for multiple out parameters. So I'm making this video. So this video will be extended version of the previous one. Okay, if you have missed that one, you can watch uh, from the video description or you can get that from my channel playlist. So uh, moving uh, for uh, the this video, uh, what I'm trying to do, uh, I'll extend this one. First, let me show you the ER diagram for this database that I'm using. So uh, in the payment table, uh, what I have done, I had uh, I had summed uh, the amount and I was taking this into the output parameter. Okay, if you see this here, sum of amount, I was putting it into the out parameter that I have. But uh, along with this, in this video, what I'll do, I'll add one more parameter. Uh, for example, say customer ID. Okay, uh, I will add one more parameter that is the customer ID also in the parameter. Okay, uh, or else uh, let's uh, say uh, I will add one more parameter that is the payment date. Okay, so it will be of date type because we have already one out parameter of uh, numeric type. It's not like that we cannot have, we can have, but I wanted to show you that how different type of uh, also variable we can do. Okay, so uh, for that, let me uh, just modify these things. You can say like this to out param proc. Uh, I just give another name and I can simply I can do uh, do suppose say out uh, for example say max payment date. Okay, uh, I want to get the latest payment date okay. and it will be of a date type okay uh, so now what i am uh, i'll do uh, i'm taking the sum then i'll take the max of uh, what is the column name column name is payment date so i'll write that payment date and uh, as usual what we do in normal oracle plsql same thing we can do here out then we can assigned to this variable okay uh, the result the data and everything i have uh, de explained in the previous video so i'm not repeating those things again so you can check out those things first from the first when the previous video uh, i'll give the link in this video as well for that so uh, our procedure is ready now what i'll do it is two and i need to match the data type here data is dead so let me create this procedure okay the procedure is created sorry Okay, so this is ready. Now we can refresh it and get here. Okay, uh, we have our procedure is ready. Now we need to call the procedure that uh, as usual that we had done in the previous video. So uh, for uh, doing that, we need to write a simple PLPG SQL block. Uh, I'll write the similar block for what I had done in the previous one. So do and write end. So we don't face any error at the end so do and end this is I have declared uh, then I need to write the declared section and here we'll have uh, some variables that are required like uh, the payment amount which is of uh, numeric type it will be uh, for uh, like it we can say 10 comma 2 and also we need to uh, give the max uh, payment date uh, it will be of date type obviously that uh, because we are having one date uh, parameter as output so now uh, we have declared two variables now uh, we need to write the begin 
begin block is started here now i can call the procedure uh, in the calling i can write like this to the procedure name i can just copy let me do like this way because you will get better i am doing okay so in place of uh, this uh, value in place of customer name i can write uh, one name uh, which is peter uh, why i am take, taking this name why i am taking the address id like uh, 3 4 6 so these all the all the things i have already explained in the previous video i am not repeating those things again and uh, this is the out payment okay this is the first uh, parameter and the second so here you need to uh, remember that you need to match the data type okay so the data type i have declared here it is date type and the out parameter is also date type so i need to put the similar thing here okay if i uh, do like if i give in this the fourth parameter as numeric type or any other so it will give me error okay, because that cannot hold uh, hold a date value Okay, so just let me quickly format it. Okay, so it is done. Now, when what will happen when I'll call this procedure in the out parameter value? In this two value, I'll have some data. Okay, so for that, oh, uh, I want to see what data we have. So for that I can see raise notice uh, the total payment amount is uh, this and the latest payment date is this okay so why I'm writing this thing so you know already this is the syntax of raise notice uh, I have already made videos on this you can check those from my channel playlist and comma what I'm trying to do basically this is the syntax uh, kind of uh, if you remember in the in C language we used to do it uh, while writing printf functions so it is kind of that uh, thing okay so this will be the output let's uh, call this procedure okay so here it is uh, it is showing that uh, the total payment amount is this uh, this is already we have uh, we have seen in the previous video and the latest payment date is this so what i'm trying to convey is that uh, with the, in this way we can have multiple input parameters and multiple output parameters okay uh, in this video uh, i was using a stored procedure in the next video i'll do a video on uh, using function okay if you see here we have functions as well uh, in postgres as well so uh, we know that uh, using a function we can return one value through return statement but yes we can return values through out parameter as well through functions so i'll cover that thing uh, for in the next video so please do subscribe my channel to get the notifications and also if this video was helpful do like and uh, uh, suggest me on which uh, topic uh, I you want me to make videos so I'll cover those things as well uh, in my channel and uh, so let's meet in the next video uh, till then take care bye